Alrighty, here's an update of my, uh, my saltwater tank. Um, I got my stand finally built, and my sump and everything is actually underneath now. Um, I got a little bit of coralline algae growing on the back there. You can't really see it too good. It's green. It's like in little green dots and stuff all over the tank. But everything is looking nice and clean. Got a little leather coral up there growing. It's actually spreading over there. It's going like wildfire. That green stuff on the rock is actually coralline algae. Um, I tried to scrape it off. It's not green hair algae, but if anybody knows what it is, please let me know. Um, got some green stuff growing there. I forgot that's a different type of coral. Got a little mushroom going over there, my cleaner shrimp. Uh, that's some kind of tip. I don't know what it is. Some kind of coral I got for cheap. But um, that's actually a piece of pink coralline algae growing there, which is weird because I have green everywhere else. Uh, my calcium levels are right at 400 nitrates and uh, phosphates are at zero so here, my parameters are on and this is why the protein skimming and get some nice uh, brown skim there um, I do use this every now and then but my pro uh, my calcium levels are at the level that I want them to be so I really don't use that and a little Kato Morpha down there to suck up all the uh, phosphates and down here I got some bio balls down there with the little racking, and then I got a whole lot of uh, filter media in there, like a sponge. It goes in my reservoir. Oh, that's a, I got another layer of sponge right there. Uh, it's like a little wall going across. You can't see it because the light. Sorry about that. Um, wish I, I'll get in here and make a better video of my sump later. That is if anybody wants to see it. Sorry, it's a little junky down there. You got my little light up there going directly down to grow the Kaomorpha and keep the, bi uh, the biological filtration going. And because it gets a little warm, I got a little $5 cheap fan that blows on that uh, lamp constantly. And my stand is held together by some magnets that's on there. But that is my tank. That is my saltwater tank. I got it open top right now just because, you know, I'm trying to keep everything good, clean. I'm going in there a whole lot, so I just took the top off, but that's basically it. And then there's my Paku tank over there. The lights are out over there. They're asleep. Um, if you want a video of that one, just look up my other videos. But That's it. Uh, I put together this system in like two months. Didn't really know what I was doing. I really did the salt water thing, but I got everybody going good. I got, there's my maroon clown. Some damsels, a zebra damsel, yellow damsel, a blue green chromis. Those are my favorite. Love those guys. Cleaner shrimp. And I got a little guy that normally stays in there. I forgot his name. He's my she's, that's my girlfriend's fish. Uh, he's a long little eel looking thing, but he just chills in his little cave down there, uh, which is why I built it so it works. But there's my PVC overflow. It's on a double right now, so it comes down into two pieces and then goes back into one pipe down the back and into my sump. And my return is right there. It's actually right in front of a, a little fan I got down there, but water's just going everywhere. I and mean, if you just tell by looking at the curls, I, I have like crucial flow. I mean, water goes in one direction for a couple minutes and it goes in another, but this is Mike P, and this is my fish tank. Hope you liked it.